Hello and welcome to a video on Hell at Loose and the new meta game. My name is Box of Demons. Let's get our boots on the ground. The recent new update for Hell Let Loose has introduced the new meta game for Hell Let Loose, and a lot of players don't seem quite aware on what's changed and why these changes have actually been made by the developers in order to increase the effectiveness of you on the battlefield and your overall enjoyment. So this video I'm going to explain to you what the new meta game is, how to look at the map and how to realise where to go, what to do and why things have changed. In previous alphas there was more locations for you to attack and fight over and while this sounds like the new method of just having one would be a negative, there are reasons based around that. The player density was just too low for the majority of the matches and that led to a boring experience and it really felt like you were experiencing the full intensity of battle. You may get the odd combat fight of one or two soldiers here and there but it was never a full on scale battle or war feeling. So the solution to putting this down to just one marker was that the vast majority of players will now focus on that one sector, creating higher density gameplay. While one sector sounds like it would create an unacceptable bottleneck, what tends to happen is that over the 400 meter wide sector, this gives you the ability to bring in the infantry, the armor and the recon units and flank the opposition in these sectors and cut off enemy supply lines. So it really is based on a way of improving the game overall. Players who defended empty sectors seldom saw any action or combat therefore being punished for doing basically the right thing and defending. And in addition, games were often won in a similar way to Alpha, with small groups of players walking around the sides and cutting off from the main battle. Players can now choose to proactively flank and penetrate the enemy lines in new dynamic ways. Instead of being forced to defend an empty location, similarly, your team will no longer lose enormous groups of sectors due to small groups of players walking past. By reducing the markers down to just one attack and defend area at a time, players will be engaged in the biggest conflicts in the server, whilst keeping the option to flank and retreat from combat. Defending an enemy in a sector is much more rewarding now, as it means the entire team has now been forced back. Watch out, there is some cover, there is some cover. So here's what's changed. Only one sector in a column is now in active play at one time, down from three. As you can see the Germans are pushing from this side into the middle and the Americans are moving out from this side. So as we look down here on the map, as we zoom in a little bit here, zoom in a little bit more, this area is locked as the Germans need to be defending this area while attacking the SCAR. And as we zoom in here, you may not know this, but the chevron lines here around the outside. If there is one enemy player in this location, it counts as two. So the more players you get in there, the quicker you will capture it. And you will notice as you get the capture symbol, there'll be a yellow arrow, which means you are capturing quicker. So the Germans must take the scar. Once they've captured that, they can then go for the rear back overlook and take one of the three HQs in order to win the game. So this is how the new format of the game works in the new meta. This is where the battles will commence and this game, the Scar and Jacob's Barn. So this is where all the combat and the action will be and as you can see there is plenty of space around the outside for flanking and manoeuvring. Think of the new meta as same as Company of Heroes, with certain locations giving you bonuses for fuel and ammunition. I don't think the full meta is actually in yet, as a lot of this will be subjective to the vehicles and the weapons, the heavy weapons that we get in the game that will be coming further down the line. So if you've played Company of Heroes, think of the meta as very, very similar. Every time the map is played, the sectors that are in play are randomised, creating different scenarios in different matches. When a sector is captured, the next available sector to attack and defend will be selected depending on if it is adjacent or diagonal to the current one. This eliminates the need to walk to the opposite end of the map and run around for a long time because obviously we don't have vehicles at this stage. The victory will occur when you capture the enemy's HQ sector. 
A loss occurs when you lose yours. When HQ sector is in play, the defending team cannot spawn in that sector. Instead, they must spawn in the adjacent HQ sectors or make use of an OP or a garrison. The team that captures an active sector will gain ownership of that entire column, all three sectors as you can see here, I'm highlighting it on the screen. The map coloration has been updated to clearly show the progression of the battle along the entire length of the map. I'm speaking to a lot of players on the battlefield, it seems this seems to be quite a controversial update. A lot of players are saying now it's more focused, we get into combat more and it feels like we're actually in a war with artillery, tanks and sniper rifles firing all over the place, where other players seem to feel it's kind of lost a little bit of its vibe. Now it's just become a flag capture game in a World War II setting. They feel that they've lost the ability to be able to go to the other sectors and dig in without the combat being so focused on one location. Personally, I am I need to play a little bit more before I'm convinced on either way because I have had some really good visceral combat experiences after the new update, whereas in the previous game, yes, there was more opportunities to move and go to different locations on the map, but the combat was very, very random. It was you could run for a long time and not actually get any action whatsoever. And while, yes, that's realistic, we are playing this for the fun of being in combat. So I would be interested to know your thoughts and feelings on this and how you think this new metagame update will affect your enjoyment of the game. The developers claim by randomising the actual capture points, you will have a different game every time you play. I'm not too sure on that because obviously the maps won't change and there will be choke points certain places on these maps. I haven't actually found or discovered any of those as yet. There hasn't been anywhere I think, do you know what, this is where everybody runs, this is where everybody goes. So hopefully that will stay that way because these maps are absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I've been Boxer Demons, and that's been a little look at the new meta. Everybody, Let me know your thoughts and comments in the box below. I will be doing some more Hell at Lose videos coming real soon, including a little overview of the Commander. Thanks for all the support. I shall see you in Hertzcombe Forest, hopefully, real soon. Bye-bye.